Well, we're joined now with Dr. Cedric McFadden. He's our 7 News medical consultant. We're going to talk a little bit about what he has in front of him, a first aid kit. And Dr. C, a lot of people wonder, do they need to go buy some big commercial kit or can they put their own together? Well, I think it depends. I mean, you can find a number of these pre-made kits in your local drugstore that will give you the basics of what you need. But first aid kits are not simply sort of one size fits all. So if there are specific needs or medications or activities that you enjoy, you may find it better that you create your own. And it may in some ways be more of an adventure for your family to put together those items that you're gonna use or potentially use should there be an emergency where you need to stabilize someone before further help arises. All right, well, we can see you've got some things there on the table. What do we need to include if we're making our own first aid kit? Well, you know, most of these pre-made kits will have the basics. They're going to have some gauze. They're going to have some sterile gloves. They even may have some of the instruments that you may use in the case of an emergency. Additionally, you'll find that these will have different types of tapes, different types of bandages that you can use to stabilize a wound or control bleeding should an injury should occur. But you should also consider placing in this any things that you use specifically, like pre-made uh, EpiPens specifically for you, or having a list of your emergency contact information or health concerns should someone need to know more about your health if they're using this kit for you. A lot of the commercial kits, Dr. C, don't have medicine in them. Do we need to put certain medications in there? What should we think about? Well, there are medications that you may find helpful in an emergency, whether it be pain medications, ibuprofen, or acetaminophen. If you have children, making sure that some children don't like tablets or pills, so maybe have the different formula, the liquid forms that they can take as well. You also may find it helpful to have different types of creams, such as hydrocortisone cream, if you have a certain itch, or burn medications that you can use in the event that you have a burn in place. And again, if you take certain medications, having that in the kit may be helpful as well if you have the need of those. Well, there's so many different uses for a kit. For example, if you're taking a trip camping or if you're going to the beach versus what you might have at home or send off with your college kid. Well, sunscreen is always helpful when you're at the beach, right? right? And if you're going camping or if you're, you know, going, you're going to be exposed to the elements even more, you may find it helpful to have aloe vera type medications that can be placed on those types of burns. If you're in the woods, if you're camping, having sting medications, especially if you're exposed to the bugs or the, the things that are going to create more discomfort for you and your family. And remember that you don't want to just have this at home. You want to have this in your car. You want to have it with you while you're out in the element. So having more than one first aid kit may be helpful. And also making sure that you know how to use the things that you put in your first aid kit so that when you're first opening that box, that's not the first time you've looked at those elements inside. All right, Dr. C, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you need information, we're going to put the interview and some links that can help you with what you need in your kit on WSPA.com. Thanks, Dr. C. Thank you.